Hi, and welcome to my fourth video in the series on transition to arm lock putting. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite drill that I think will make you a better putter, whether you're an arm lock putter or a conventional putter. There are two things that make a good putter. The first thing is distance control, and the second thing is the ability to make putts consistently for five or six, from five or six feet. Now, if you look at the guys on tour, their success rate from five feet is about 75%. From eight feet, it's about 50%. So even though they practice more probably in a month than we do in our lifetime, they still don't make every putt they look at from that distance. So putting is very important and certainly practice is very important. So what I'm going to give you today is the chalk line drill. If you go on YouTube, there are multiple videos on how to do it. I'm just going to give you some of the highlights that I think will help you and why they will help you. So what you need, you need a chalk line, you can get it at your local hardware store. And you go to your putting green and lay down the chalk line from the center of the hole back about five or six feet. Now this is, this is the most important thing and that is make sure that you get a straight putt. And in order to do that, take a couple of golf balls and position them around the hole. Putt that putt several times until you're confident that that putt is straight. And mark your chalk line on that particular line. Now, what that does when you start to practice, it does three things. One, it creates a line so that you can see your putter path as you're stroking the ball. The second, it gives you a visual of where you want that ball to go when you putt it. And the third thing, it gives you feedback on when you do putt the ball, are you putting the ball on that line? So if you have a straight putt, what you've got then is your stroke is the only thing that's determining whether you're putting that ball where you want to on that chalk line and into the hole. And as you putt and practice this drill, you'll notice you'll do little things to your stroke, some nuances on grip, perhaps, or feet positioning, whatever, but it will help you find what you're comfortable with to consistently make a stroke and get the ball in the hole. Now what I do, I use five balls. Five balls will go in the hole easily at one time. And I'll put 100 putts, and out of that 100 putts, I'll determine what my success rate is. Now, this drill takes about a half an hour. Uh, if you like music, strap on some headphones. That's what I do. But set a goal for yourself, and I think you'll be surprised with a line that you can look at on a straight putt, uh, your success rate will be very high. Typically for me, um, if I don't make 90% of these, I'm, uh, I've not had a very good day. You may not start out that high, but I truly think you can get to that point without a great deal of difficulty. And what that does for you is when you take this drill and you get on the golf course and you play, you've developed some mechanics and you've developed, developed some mentality of seeing the ball go into the hole. And I promise you, promise you, if you practice this drill for two or three times a week, for two or three weeks, you will be a better putter and you will actually see that you'll be a better putter. And that's the whole point of this discussion. So hopefully this series has helped you or at least given you some ideas on maybe how you can improve your putting game. If you have comments, um, if you have an email, you can get back to me with comments or if you have questions that I could help you with, be glad to answer those. Um, been a pleasure talking to you and uh, have a great day. Thanks.